Hello, welcome to this video. Today, I will show you an enhancement in TBC 530 mobile mapping module to pick the center of the target more precisely. This function is a small piece in the scan registration step. Please watch other videos in this playlist to learn the complete mobile mapping processing workflow. Starting with TBC 530, the first difference you may notice in the registration command is the target marker column. When the list of control points is long, it could be challenging to memorize what points have been paired already. Now with 530, once a target is picked for a ground control point, this column will indicate the picked status, so the users can simply focus on points that still need attention. To quickly find the control points from the cloud, we have added the limit box to the command. Activate the limit box, then a dynamic limit box will form around the control point. It will display point cloud within just a small range, and it moves when we navigate to the next point. You can also adjust the dimension and position of the limit box as needed. Now let's take a closer look at the target. It is a purely reflective target. A survey nail is located at the center and it's surveyed as a control point. But how can we pick a point to represent the true center? Click somewhere near the target center. The validation window pops up. With TBC 530, not only we have a top view of the target, we also have added a relief view to the right side to fine-tune the target elevation. You can choose different color rendering methods. You can change the intensity level to see the target better. For types of target, there are three options. Single click allows user to pick any point from the top view. Diamond allows users to work with square reflective targets. And we will come back to checkerboard later. Choose diamond, the dimension option appears. If you are using a unified target size for the whole mission, check the box and put, it, put in the edge length. I will turn it off in this case because I have multiple target dimensions in this project. Then follow the instruction to pick two diagonal corners of the target. A square pattern will appear with a crosshair sitting at the center. That point is going to be our target. Sometimes it's also necessary to validate the elevation from the relief view, especially if your target is laid on a sloped terrain. What if the pattern needs some adjustment? You can hold the right mouse button to move the square. And you can hold the left mouse button to rotate the square. Now let's work on a checkerboard target. It is another commonly used target type in mobile mapping applications. Similarly, click somewhere near the center and choose checkerboard as the target type. Considering the high contrast, we believe it's easier to identify the middle point on the edge than the corner of this target type. Therefore, we will click two middle points on opposite sides. As you may have figured, hold the right mouse button to move the pattern, and hold the left mouse button to rotate. You're now able to pick the center of targets more precisely. 
Thank you for watching. See you next time.